How are you guys doing today? Did I hear that someone just recently had a birthday party? Was it a good birthday party? Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad that you guys are here this morning. All right, so we just heard the story of the Good Samaritan. So, so what happens in the Good Samaritan? There's a guy, and he's walking from Jer- or Jerusalem, and he's going downhill to Jericho. And what happens? Sit down. What happens as he's walking to Jericho? What happens? What? He gets beat up. And they, they like take his clothes off. And, oh, and he's left. Oh. Half dead. Now that's not like half alive he's going to make it. It's like, oh no, he needs help. So he's laying there on the ground. Who wants to be the guy laying on the ground? I need something. Blythe, get, get here. You're laying on the ground. All right, so then who comes walking by? A priest. A pastor, just like me, comes walking by, sees the person half dead on the side of the road, and goes, ah! <laughs> runs away. And then who comes next? A staff minister. Do you guys know what a staff minister is? Who do you know who's a staff minister? Who do you guys know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pastor Chad, good. He's a staff minister. He came walking by, he went, ah! and he got out of there because he didn't want to get beat up either. And then comes a Samaritan. The Samaritans, they don't like people like that. They're enemies. It's like Longhorns fans and Aggie fans. It's like if there was a Longhorn on the side of the road and Aggie came by, they don't like each other. But the Samaritan does the nicest thing, right? The Samaritan says, oh no, this person needs help. So he picks him up, puts the guy on his own donkey, tears his clothes to cover up the bandages, takes him to the inn, Goes to the end and says, all right, how much is it going to cost to, for them to stay here? Lots of money. He's like, cool. <laughs> Gives him lots of money. And he says, he's probably going to have to stay here a long time. I mean, like, do you know how much it costs to stay in a hotel for a whole month? That's a lot of money. He says, all right, here's some extra money. Whatever it costs, cover it. And I'll come back, and if there's more expenses, I'm going to pay for it. Wow. Okay, Blythe, you, you're a very good, good person on the side of the road. And then Jesus says, Jackson, Jack, 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 Jack. Then Jesus says, that's how I want you guys to be nice to the people around you, right? That, that means, like, you probably won't see somebody who's gotten beaten up on the side of the road. If you do, call 911 and tell your parents, <laughs> okay? But what Jesus is saying is, there might be times in your life where there's going to be somebody who maybe you don't like very much, but they're sad. And Jesus says, I want you to go over there and say, hey, everything's going to be okay and give them a big hug. Uh, That means Jesus wants us, like, if somebody, like, is mean to us and they say, I'm sorry, and you, like, maybe don't want to say, I forgive you to them because they were mean to you and that hurt. No, Jesus says, "I, I still want you to say, I forgive you. Jesus wants us to show love to everybody who's around us, just like Jesus did for us. See, Jesus He did the best thing for us. He said, I'm going to take your place, and I'm going to take away all your sins so that you guys get to go to heaven. And that's the best kind of love that Jesus showed to us, and so we get to show that to our neighbors. Let's fold our hands, and let's pray to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for forgiving all of my sin and saving me when I was on the side of the road. Uh, Thank you for giving me heaven. Please help me to show the same kind of love that you showed to us, to the people in our lives. We pray this in your name. Amen.